Welcome back to Fragrance Family out there in YouTube land. Thanks for joining me here on my channel, Stephen Sturgill. I'm your host for the next several minutes, hopefully. Uh, if you watched my last video, guys, we took a look at a very special house uh, from the house of uh, Annie Goutal, uh, de France, Paris. And we are going to look again at another one of her incredible fragrances, an absolute olfactory <laughs> um, masterpiece is the only word that can come to mind. Uh, simply stunningly sensational. And for you amber lovers out there, this is Ambre Sauvage, Les Absolu Dany Goutal. This is incredible, guys. Look at that bottle. If you were to buy the bottle, that's the bottle that it comes in. Let's see if I can focus. Uh, this camera is really, really uh, finicky. <laughs> Focus, come on, auto focus. Oh my god, this camera. It's a good camera, but my god. Focus, my god, it's normally not this obstinate. Okay, ooh, 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 ooh. almost got it. There it is. My word, that was a pain on the tushkas. Anyhow, again, once again, the the noses on this are uh, um, Anik, who died sadly some years back, uh, and the, the business is now run by her daughter, uh, also a lovely, attractive lady uh, by the name of uh, Camille, and so uh, Camille Gutal and um, uh, Isabel Noyen are the two perfumers primarily the two only noses that I that I'm currently aware of in the house so they collaborate in pretty much all or at least most of the frags and look at that beautiful juice guys it's just perfectly light clear golden and I don't know maybe it's just the lighting to me it seems a little bit darker in person than I'm getting on camera but maybe that's accurate enough whatever uh, Guys, they use such high dollar ingredients uh, in their perfumes. These are not, these are not like, you know, uh, cologne molecules. No, this is, this is high dollar stuff. Even whatever is synthetic in here is very costly. In some cases, a lot, a lot costlier than natural ingredients. So uh, let's get at it. Bam, bam. Pretty good little mister for a little micro sampler. Oh my god, that is just freaking incredible. World class. Once again, guys, this is a fragrance. This is a house that can go toe to toe, I believe, with any niche or designer house on earth. And if not, at least hold their own, probably come out on top uh, a lot of the time, some of the time at least stunning literally stunning so let's look at the notes i'm not gonna uh talk about too many of the fragrances that they have developed uh just get on the website and check them out either at base notes or fragrantica or you can go to the website that is the uh, uh look up you know anna gutal website online and check them out um so we get amber, obviously, pink pepper, lavender, iris, vanilla, styrax, and patchouli. Patchouli in this is pretty prominent, as is the styrax. The vanilla also is very, very prominent uh, right out of the opening. And I'm getting some of the lavender, some of the iris, not as much as I would think. The pink pepper opened definitely with a little peppery blast, but now that's already calming down, being overtaken by the amber accord, along with the patchouli and styrax and vanilla. And it's really kind of gourmandy. Uh, it's r deeply resinous. It's definitely vanilla. -ic. It's creamy. It's smooth. It is a little bit spicy. There's that essence of the spice coming through from the pink pepper. But it's done in such a way, the pink pepper is, is a very interesting ingredient because sometimes it almost sort of masquerades as mm, ginger, but not like full-on ginger, but like 
but like a reduced essence of ginger, if that makes any sense. It has that little spicy ginger thing going on. What a unique and creamy and gourmand. It is definitely sweet, so if you don't like sweet frags, I guess stay away. But it's so well done. It's just sublime. It's it's a heavenly gourmandy scent. It reminds me a little bit of, of uh, caramel brulee or creme brulee, creme brulee, mixed with I don't know uh, little essences of marshmallow, the vanilla, a little hint of the lavender iris, giving it that little floral creaminess, um, and again that pink pepper sort of spicing things up just a bit. That's about it. That's all I, I really have to say. It's, it's simply a phenomenal fragrance. It is unisex, but I would probably tend to say, I don't know, this one to me maybe is about 55% feminine to me, 45% masculine. Just my opinion. I think it just leans a little bit ever so slightly to the F side as opposed to the M side. Just my opinion. That's going to do it though. It is absolutely world class. You can get these on <clears throat> Amazon, uh, Lucky Scent, uh, eBay. Why did I say I'm not, actually? I'm not sure about Amazon. Probably Amazon. I meant to say eBay. eBay, uh, Amazon probably, and um, some of the discounters carry some of her line. They definitely don't carry all of it, so you may have to spend some bigger bucks. And these are not. I don't mean the samples. The real bottles are anything but cheap. Uh, they're expensive, but they're not, I wouldn't say they're ridiculously so. Uh, I think you can get some of these bottles for around, um, between the 180 US uh, to about $250 uh, for a pretty big bottle of juice. So not otherworldly or extraterrestrial in pricing by any means, but uh, certainly not cheap either. So you may need to save for a rainy day if you're on a tight budget. Uh, but that won't stop you from buying decants. Uh, what I like to do sometimes if I'm, if well, if I, whether or not if I'm in a, a little bit of a wallet crunch or if I just simply don't want to um, risk a bad bottle at this point, I'll often get a decant or a sampler and then only later pull the trigger for a bottle if I decide that the scent is bottle worthy, if that makes sense. Uh, that's going to do it. It's definitely a mature scent. I can't imagine anyone under the age of 25 realistically rocking this scent. Uh, nor, for that matter, not much under the age of 30, unless you're European, maybe, have at it. Um, again, unisex. Uh, occasions, uh, uh, gala events, uh, entertaining, uh, maybe a date night, but you want to go pretty light with, with the spritzes, because this is quite savage. This is, this does not pull punches, guys. It's... It's what I call quiet beast mode, and you could easily vape out a room and just gas out the entire building if you if you just went sh -sh 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 -sh. game over. No one's gonna want to get within more uh, closer than within ten to fifteen feet of you, uh, even though you may smell fantastic. Uh, not everyone wants to smell your, your smell up in their grill, you know, just clouding their their uh, their personal space. <laughs> if that makes sense. That's going to do it. Again, I do have a contest coming up. I'm going to do a mini show coming up soon, or whatever you call it, about the contest giveaway in honor of my 100th subscriber, which I'm about to get at any second or any minute or any day, depending how fast I get it. I'm at 99 at the moment. And I want to, again, give a big shout out to all the other reviewers out there that have uh, helped me in some way or fashion or form. And especially a big shout out to you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Couldn't be here, couldn't do it without you. I will see you next time, guys. Spray often, spray well, live life on your terms. And if you like, please subscribe and click the bell for future updates. Peace.